Hello friends and welcome to my channel Simply Stocks and today I am going to talk about Nika which is coming at attractive levels. Let's have a complete understanding of the business and why I believe it is attractive at around 60,000 crore market cap. So let's get started. First of all a disclaimer that this is not a stock recommendation and people taking any position to any share that I talk about should do that with their own due diligence and research and I am not in favor or against any company that I talk about. Before I talk about Nike, here a small request that kindly support me on Patreon and once you do that help me grow the channel, help you also ask me questions and ink out answers in greater detail. Once you get the $10 membership, you will have access to my portfolio, my watch list and number of podcasts I put up from time to time and also if you can pay $100 up front, you get one year access by paying for 10 months. For detailed market or company talk, you can directly email me and we can work things out with a fee and also if you cannot pay on Patreon on YouTube, you can directly email me and get money yearly whatsapp membership as well now about the company established uh, just recently it has strong online uh, women uh, fashion brand it is one of the largest brands uh, in india on the online space a rare unicorn listing which has been profitable and it has more of its own with own products selling big time as well it has been gaining market share in this space and has expanded base by opening offline stores as i said 10 percent of their business comes from offline which we'll explain later on in this presentation urban consumption to only pick up in years to come so this company looks set uh, to do many big things over the next five seven ten years the market cap of the company is around sixty thousand crores If you look at the numbers, sales numbers for uh, Q1 FY23 were very good, 41% growth at 1150 crores and they came out with a 33% profit growth from last year to around 4.5 crores which was pretty good. So now consistently they are showing profitability along with the uh, strong sales growth of 40%. Over the last 5-6 years they have shown uh, sales growth of around 40% continuously which is quite strong and which tells you the kind of you can say brand image and the brand visibility resonance uh, the company has ROE of around four and a half percent and margins at four percent is still less but hopefully going forward margins should end up improving. So if you look at the results at the glance, margins were down 30% uh, year on year and were stable Q on Q and basically margins were down because uh, contrary to other businesses or major businesses across uh, the sectors, uh, in, in online space the business did exceedingly well during the pandemic and that's why margins at that point of time were very good and profitability were good in FY20 and 21. So it had to drop down. Uh, in, in a period where things open up completely. So margins are much better than 2020 June where the pandemic hit big time initially which is quite good. Operating profits have consistently increased over the years and we have seen that happening and this is a commendable performance in a very difficult uh, business environment because the online fashion space uh, there are a lot of uh, you can say brands and, and products around. So but to have a position in there uh, kind of a leadership position to maintain a kind of a leadership position in there is a big achievement uh, so demand should pick up as domestic festive season picks up this time around and i believe numbers are only set to improve going forward as uh, people's expectations and people's habits change going forward so top line growth has remained robust that is a very uh, big thing and considering the same top line growth we could see over 5000 crores of sales uh, by fy23 or so by in this year uh, we have had only one quarter next three quarters could be big uh, for the company So if you look at the revenue picture over the last three years from FI 19 to 22, then from around 1116 crores, uh, it has gone up to 3800 crores at the moment. So it's up by 3x, uh, around just over 3x, uh, you can say growth in uh, sales over the last three years, uh, which is quite strong. And I think this is set to continue with over 5000 crores should be coming in uh, for FI 23 uh, as well. 
in terms of profitability the company was in losses because they were expanding big time uh, and they were spending on advertising plus expanding on offline stores but they had no offline stores till 2017 and from 2018 onwards they uh, started uh, you can say having stores in malls and shopping centers and so their expansion there uh, led to in FY19 a loss of around 25 crores that loss uh, got reduced to around 60 crores in fi20 and as i explained during the pandemic the uh, things look extremely good and they had a profit of 62 crores at that point of time uh, and uh, uh, right at the fag end of fi21 or sorry uh, after fi21 they had an ipo by november or so october november so uh, this was in fi22 just recently so it has been just about a year and into the ipo and they 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 have come out with 41 crores of profitability in fi 22 uh, where things have opened up so their margins reduced but hopefully things should stabilize by fi 24 and profitability should only increase in terms of margins uh, the company did two percent uh, operating profit margins in fi 19 which has gone up to four percent although they did six percent in fi 21 but again due to uh, that uh, one-off event that they did extremely well in terms of margins because there was a lot of online sales but we can expect between four to five percent margins which would be a uh, pretty good considering the kind of growth in sales that they are doing if sales are growing at 40 percent and even margins remain at four five percent the profitability should be good on the bottom line So if you look at the business segments uh, for uh, Nika, basically they sell beauty and personal care products. Uh, that's 90, nearly 84% of their business and 16% of their business is fashion. Basically, uh, you can say uh, lifestyle products as well as uh, apparel. So they, they sell men and women wear and fashion brands and etc. Uh, for weddings, etc. So they are getting in there. They were not into this segment. Uh, four or five years back but they are now establishing themselves into a big fashion and beauty brand uh, online and they have a huge online presence which we'll explain uh, later on but on instagram facebook uh, twitter etc everywhere youtube they have a lot of views and and a lot of people go through their videos and then uh, go ahead and buy into products so a lot of convertibility into uh, customers that is happening so a big uh, big presence in the fashion and beauty segment and they have an omni channel presence as i explained so online they are 90 percent they were 100 percent till 2018 but then they started expanding offline as well buying into real estate and and into uh, you can say office spaces in in uh, you can say different malls and shopping centers so they have 10 percent offline stores as well in which there there is a decent footfalls footfall So in terms of key numbers and these are numbers uh, till March 21 that we have got uh, from screeners. So number of visits have been around 83 crores and monthly average unique visitors has been around 2 crores. Uh, unique means new visitors mostly uh, that come in. A uh, unique transacting customers are around 60 lakh. So around from 2 crores 30% of them transact. That is a pretty big uh, conversion ratio that we are looking at that 30% of their new customers convert into being uh, potential customers convert into being customers uh, annual orders is around 2 crores or so and these orders comprise online as well as offline and that is where it materializes down to 3800 crores because your average order value is around 1963 uh, rupees per order. So basically as I explained uh, their uh, conversion uh, towards an annual unique uh, customers transacting and buying into products has been pretty good at 30% and uh, because of the order value being closer to 1962,000 crores uh, their overall sales uh, pick up big time so basically their GMV is big their GMV is doing very well and uh, the, the thing here is uh, 
uh, the point here is whatever they are selling they are selling at a high uh, premium and they are buying into products basically their business model entails that they have an inventory led model and they don't keep uh, virtually any inventory and they buy from the uh, vendor and sells it to the customers uh, so they 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 get a lot of profitability from there their major spend goes into ad spends and that is why uh, they are uh, having uh, losses or a little bit of profitability on the bottom line uh, but once their expansion which has a lot of expense uh, to it and ad spends reduce a bit uh, eventually they'll end up making a lot of profitability so over a long run i think profits should grow exponentially once they establish themselves even further or deeper into the market Uh, some important pointers uh, about the company largest specialty beauty and personal care platform in India online platform this, this is the biggest one uh, it has the highest average order value among leading online beauty players uh, as I said 1900 2000 rupees is pretty uh, good on online sales basis it sells own brands as well uh, something like Nika cosmetics uh, Nika Naturals and uh, K Beauty all these are brands of Nika and they also sell big time so once uh, they start selling these uh, more and the percentage of sales of their own products are more uh, again uh, the margins will be much better because margins are big in here it is the leading influential lifestyle platform with heavy presence online on Facebook Instagram and YouTube as I explained they have millions uh, of views on YouTube every day uh, millions of views uh, you can say combined between YouTube Facebook and uh, Instagram and that's where they spend their money on to have that kind of a presence uh, but what they are gaining from that is 40% sales growth so once they curtail one or two of their expenses uh, the profitability will expand exponentially it has one of the highest share of mobile application uh, lead transaction among the leading online retail uh, platforms in India uh, most uh, you can say in terms of fashion brands or or makeup or beauty brands uh, it has the highest downloads in terms of uh, uh, its application and the way app is being used across the board uh, in all sorts of you can say economic uh, strata here in India Some more important pointers is that and probably a forecast that demand should uh, increase in online fashion space going forward. If you look, fi if you look five, six years down the line, the demand should improve big time. And it is at a very nascent stage, uh, this all business of online retail uh, selling, online fashion brand selling. Uh, probably uh, people have got used to buying from Amazon a lot of products, uh, but to buy fashion products or makeup brands, uh, majorly women uh, want to go out and, and buy from stores. But now they are beginning to show trust on uh, brands like Nike and buying uh, uh, through them uh, only business of its type that is listed so will command a, lo uh, a lot higher PE or valuations compared to other businesses and I think things will pick up as weddings and occasions happen and there are a lot of uh, you can say uh, weddings lined up plus uh, uh, festivals lined up in the next six months so I think stock should pick up in that sense so will will continue to command premium valuation and still online fashion penetration is low in India as I explained it should grow further so valuations look extremely attractive at these levels I'll explain uh, the valuations part later on in this presentation So why I believe it can be big is that demand set to increase in online fashion space going forward in the next 3-4 years and things will pick up as wedding occasions pick up and I believe that uh, we can see uh, one of the biggest turnaround in terms of uh, businesses that are listed uh, at the moment uh, we could see uh, this business uh, do big things once they curtail on their advertising expense yes it is a very competitive environment but once they have expanded enough and gone deep into the market and have uh, a, a clear you can say hold on the uh, industry per se they'll start churning out profitability on the bottom line 
so now coming to the valuations check in my opinion current sales as i as i explained currently uh, the sales is around 3700 crores that was the fi22 sales in fi23 i expect sales to be closer to 5200 crores that's a, a, a potential growth of 35 36% on the base of 3700 crores in fi22 uh, and it is trading at 12 times under 12 times fi23 sales uh, which is very attractive in my opinion and fi24 will see more attraction in terms of numbers because they would have opened up uh, more offline stores and offline business should have picked up by now plus their own brands would sell more they are gaining more market share in there so fi24 i see at least 7200 crores i believe 7500 crores of sales uh, in fi24 is very much possible so we could see the stock trade at around 20 times sales uh, currently it is trading at uh, 12 times i can i can see it easily trade at 20 times sales in fi24 so 150000 crore market cap is not out of the realms uh, but uh, we could see the stock at least double from here uh, which is around 2500 but i see a target of 2700 over the next two years on the stock but over five six years this could be a very big uh, company even from these uh, levels In terms of technicals uh, have broken all support levels so technically it is looking extremely weak so it cannot be a short term uh, you can say buy unless it goes past 1500 long term support is around 1100 levels uh, if you get the uh, current levels are very good to buy and if, if you get further dips you can just keep on accumulating I believe that over a 2-3 year period it could be a double from here easily. So in my opinion those who hold at lower levels can continue to hold even for fresh entry these are very good levels uh, to get into those who have bought at higher levels say 1350 1400 can average at these levels it looks like a consistent performer till 2025 and allocate less than 10 percent maybe around seven percent of your total holding into uh, this stock and i believe that the best way to buy these stocks in during is during market stress and currently the market is at a level where one can accumulate these jewels at these levels so this was my video on nika please like and subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so you can get my video straight away when i post it and kindly support me on patreon thanks a lot for watching